Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some beautiful bacon carbonara pasta and we're talking about the Avengers beta and what we've learned so far. So first off, disclaimer guys, I have played the beta. I don't have a PS4, but I did go to a friend's house and I played a whole ton of it. So my opinion is pretty valid in my opinion. <laughs> oh man, look at that beautiful, delicious pasta. Anyways, first off, I'm just gonna jump into some things that really irk me about the game. The lock-on. Uh, by default, lock-on is manual, and really there's a setting to turn it on uh, auto that I find most people don't even know about. I mean, the auto-targeting, the auto-lock-on, they need to be implemented at full strength because really, why not? It's not a first-person shooter. If you're not basing all of your attacks on accuracy, turn those up to maximum right off the bat, and they should be default, but they're not. I don't know why. Uh, next, graphic settings. People don't realize that you can increase the camera zoom of combat. You can increase your performance by lowering it off of the 4K graphics setting. Simply put, it doesn't need to run at 4K if you're not playing on a 4K monitor. Uh, it's just not worth it, and the f performance hits are there. Then you have the gear. A lot of people have been complaining about the gear, but we haven't seen the entire gear roster yet. There's going to be full sets of gear you're grinding towards endgame that we have no clue how the gear is going to progress. And obviously gear can be upgraded uh, with materials and all sorts of different modifiers. And we have no clue what's even out there yet. So people that are complaining about gear, they're wrong. They're just flat out wrong. Maybe when the time comes you can complain, but stop. Next up, skills. Skills are paramount to this game. I mean, they're absolutely paramount. And in the beta, we've only seen the primary basic light heavy attacks and no modifiers on any skills whatsoever that are in the later half of the game. So, I mean, people are complaining, oh, the skills and combos kind of look simplistic. Well, yeah, we don't have everything unlocked. Depending on what transpires after the beta, it could be a fact that they're still simplistic and the maybe that the skills aren't that great, but there's a whole lot of stuff that we have not seen yet in this beta, in this game. So hold your horses on the skill front, guys. Uh, a thing I've found with a lot of streamers, just watching them haphazardly over the last day or so, is that they have a lack of combo understanding, a lack of character proficiency, really. I mean, people are using stuff just wrong, just flat out wrong. I see Black Widow players that won't use the grappling hook. I see Iron Man players that won't toggle their weapons to a better one in a situation. I see Hulk players that do not use his rage bar, which is paramount to playing Hulk. And I think as time goes on, people will realize that it's a lot to take in and a lot to master on a character. Granted, it's not the hardest game in the world, but there are some nuances that people just aren't getting right now. We're going to go on to the flaws of the game. Flaws with targeting. Targeting, again, I, I noticed that people don't play with auto lock-on, and they don't play with camera zoom. They don't play with all the stuff that should be default, but it's just not really there in the beta. So if you're playing the beta, go in there, change your reticule, change your targeting lock-on, change your camera distance, and the game is just so much better after that. Uh, the flaws with looting, I mean, it's 2020, and we're not playing a 2000 PlayStation 1 game. The developers should have included a ranged pickup for loot, because having to run over loot as a flying character is just abysmally bad, especially in a looter-shooter type game like this. Flaws with enemy variety. I think a lot of people are upset that they're only seeing aim bots and enemies right now, but guys, you're in the beta. You're in hand-picked missions. There's a reason you're only seeing certain types of enemies. The developers don't want you seeing every enemy in the game quite yet. So just hold back on that. I can't stress it enough. People just get too angsty when they get in these betas. And we just gotta relax, let it see how it's gonna play out. Me personally, I'm in the PC beta next week. And I'm going to have a blast because I had a blast this weekend with my friend's PS4 beta. And I think this game has a lot of potential, an absolute boatload of potential. But a lot of people want to naysay it. 50-50, eh, you decide. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Because as this game expands, as it adds new characters, as the world gets added to, I think it could 
possibly be on par with Marvel Heroes uh, in terms of the roster and the variety and just the things to do, things to grind. First off, if you don't like grinding, don't play this game. It's not that... It's not that it's a bad game for people who don't like grinding. It's that it, the game was meant to be a grind, to keep people playing the game, to pe- keep people interested. Very uh, Destiny 2-esque, trying to find that best gear, that best uh, sort of stat line for your particular build of your characters. I just hope that they can remedy the small nitpicks of the game that people have, uh, like mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, mechanical flaws that can't be player corrected, that just need to be focused on and fixed before the game launches or even uh, maybe a little bit after post-launch anyways that's it for this check out that delicious bacon guys ged out